Hello friends, as promised in our most recent YouTube short, and perhaps you found this video by following this YouTube short, you may find me in Dixie Springs nestled between a porta potty and a whole bunch of lumber. Welcome to a tour of our most recent spec home that we're building in Dixie Springs and some dogs barking in the background. This, uh, this place is finally going vertical and what we have here is an incredible 2,900 square foot home. Uh, it will be a four bedroom with a casita with a detached, uh, excuse me, somebody's trying to call me always. This place will have a, an attached casita with a entrance through the sliding door in the front. You'll see that on the, on the front left of this property, that will be the casita. Then we have a two car garage with a double RV garage. So the garage in this place will be absolutely stupid. It's massive. Um, it is, I believe, 45 feet deep on the RV side, and then it has an oversized two-car garage right next to it. Really tall ceilings, 14-foot uh, doorways, so you could get even the most massive RV and a boat in here. And believe it or not, there's still, huh, you see me just, there's still, huh, you see me just dodge that two by four? <laughs> Believe it or not, uh, there will be still plenty of room for, uh, for a decent sized backyard. You could probably even fit a pool bag there. This property will not come with a pool um, as an option to begin with, but we do have several pool contractors that would be open to bidding a pool if, if you chose to uh, go that route. This home will be available for sale. Uh, we're guessing completion around maybe April, mid-April. Um, so let's, let's just go on kind of a preliminary walkthrough. It's hard to tell right now with so many two by fours and uh, supporting members in between what this home will really look like. But um, the architect was done by one of our favorite architects and this is truly a custom plan that's meant to be convenient, usable, modern, elegant. Um, and you know, usability was, was a huge factor. So we're walking into the mud room Currently, this will be the mudroom that you enter right off the garage. And then directly on the other side of the mudroom, don't mind the tumbleweed, it got blown in here over the weekend. Now we're in the laundry room. So you can enter from the garage into the mudroom, into the laundry room, which then takes you into the master closet. And I know it's really hard to visualize it right now without having drywall, but this master closet will be absolutely massive. So then the master closet takes you into the master bath, which will have a massive shower, standalone tub, dual vanities. That takes you into the master bedroom and the master bedroom will have, and this place throughout, uh, throughout all the bedrooms, it will have 10 foot ceilings. The living room will have absolutely massive uh, I don't even know how many feet it is. You guys will see that shortly. But there will be a slider that takes you out into the backyard. And for how massive the footprint of this home is, take a look at the size of this backyard. You still have plenty of room for activities. Let's see if, uh, if Michon can take a peek out there. It is not super deep, but you have plenty of privacy from their neighbors with a super tall wall and kind of a massive backyard. You could put in certainly plenty of room for barbecue and a pool. Let me see if I can win this battle against this giant tumbleweed. So as we exit the master, there's a little, little area back here too. So we're back in the mud room now. Um, let's check out the living room. So this place will have a massive family room slash dining room. You cannot see the upstairs right now because it's we're not quite up to that stage of this build yet, but um, it backs up to the backyard with a massive sliding door, a couple of large windows, which will allow plenty of natural light. And if you look on this side, I am about six foot two, six foot two and a half. And check this out. This will be the height of the ceilings in this room. So you'll have amazing massive ceilings with plenty of natural light. You've got another window on this side and this property will have a butler pantry with a coffee bar. So let's see if I could squeeze in here. The pantry will be absolutely massive as well. 
Um, it'll be hidden behind the cabinetry and it will tuck away here. So the pantry also divides, you found me this way, the pantry also separates us from a casita. Casita or another ensuite uh, bedroom, which will be on the front of the house. I showed it to you guys from the front. And this room, oh yeah, yeah, Michonne is telling me, I know she's not mic'd up, so you guys might not hear it, but uh, we'll start from the front door. So the, the front entry of this home will be grand. We'll have a massive door right here. And as you enter through the front, it takes you into a foyer. It will have a staircase right here, floating steps that take you to the upper level. It will take you to the upper bedrooms that we cannot show to you yet because they're not, they're not even done being framed. There will be a powder right off the front. Will that be a powder? So there will be a powder through the hall. And then there's, so this is actually a, a powder for the entire house. And then this is the plumbing for the casita bathroom. The casita can also be accessed uh, through the front of the house, so it has its own private entry. And probably one of the coolest things about this house is the front is facing north. North means views of Pine Valley Mountain. You can't really see a ton of these views from the ground level, but I'll show you guys in the drone footage roughly from where the upstairs is going to be. Those views are going to be killer. It's going to shoot over the neighborhood because this lot is slightly above the rest of the neighborhood. And the views should really, in theory, remain unobstructed. So you get some really nice Pine, view, Pine Valley mountain views uh, during the winter time, like right now. It is one o'clock and it is up to 52 degrees with high of 55 today. There's snow in the mountains and if you look to the north, you will see a combination of three beautiful colors red, white, and blue. Folks, if you have any questions about this new build or if you're thinking about relocating to Southern Utah and looking at a beautiful brand new home in Dixie Springs, you know where to find me. The contact information is in the description below this video. Subscribe to this channel so you can see weekly updates of this new build progressing. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to drop them in the comments below this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.